Hello, Work Life Warriors. I hope you're doing well. Today, I wanted to come past and talk about the book I just finished, uh, Anti-Fragile. This is the last video I'm making for this book, and I just kind of want to tie it up. It was a great book. It was uh, Sometimes it was kind of technical. It had a lot of information in it, and overall, it helps to drive home the point of anti-fragility and then expand it. Um, the idea in every subsector, like family, business, education. And it was a great read. It took me about almost a month. And there was a lot of information. As you can see, I got a lot of notes from it. And overall, it was a great book. But what I wanted to um, end it with is just this idea of like innovation, which is just the idea of something new. And um, in our society, what is new when it first comes out new, it has so many benefits. The person who created it gets so many status, benefits, uh, money, fame, so much perks and benefits from being the first person and two, it becomes the standard. And so many people come behind it and imitate the idea until it becomes the standard. And so when we think of the idea of um, innovation, we stop to think about the what it takes to be innovative and how innovation became the standard. We forget that uh, the world that we live in was created through the entrepreneurs and the artists, the artists who, you know, saw the world different and went about creating art to change the world. And that's just creating art is just being in your purpose. So having purpose driven work is art for you because it doesn't feel like you're doing it out of obligation. It feels like you're doing it because you want to, you're in flow, you're playing, you're having a good time. And so that is very important as opposed to just doing it out of obligation. So in the entrepreneurs or the people who decided that they would fill a need or fill a gap in society. And so um, these people, the artists and entrepreneurs sat upon a dream and they worked at it and they chipped away at it to reveal the society that we're living in today. And so it's so important for people to realize like you are created but you're also a creator and we spend so much time doing, but what are we really creating? And it's in that creating where you feel satisfaction, where you feel purpose, where you feel fulfillment. And so how can you take the work that you do every day and make it so you're creating value for yourself and other people in the world and not just collecting a paycheck and you're not doing it out of obligation. It's very important to know why you work. So you have meaning, um, behind what you're doing when you wake up in the morning, you're not obligated. You don't feel dread. You feel excited for the opportunity to take one step closer to your mission, your dreams, your goals, your your whatever you decided you value. And so, in this book, he talk about you know how um, to be an innovator. You have to be original. It is, you know, an idea of being your authentic self, even though people in society may deem it unacceptable, unprofessional, unworthy, unlovable. You still have to show up with as yourself, as the the artist of your life, um, as the entrepreneur of your life. You still have to show up and be your best self and continue to be authentic in, until it becomes the standard. Kind of like Effie saying, there's no way, you know, that you're not going to love me. Uh, I, I'm not going away just because you decide that um, or deem me unlovable or unworthy because I don't fit in with the standard. And as a creator, you can be your own purpose and, or your own mission or your own goal or your own dream or your own artwork, your life can be that and you can be that so that you have enjoyment in what you're doing, that it's that your life improves and you have more quality in life because you enjoy, you know, doing the things to improve yourself, to improve your life, to, you know, turn your life into art, to be the entrepreneur of your own life. And so it's so important for us to remember as the created 
that we need to create as well. Not just, you know, being a mother and a father, which is, of course, they are very important. But what else are you creating and contributing to the world? Uh, what you create and contribute continues to make you anti-fragile because the idea of producing something that you created each time gets better and better, which in turn gives you more self-esteem, self-value, self-worth. And it's nothing really more that you have to do. The fact that you are born um, means that you're worthy, worthy of love, that you are enough. But through our childhood experiences, we have so many experiences, or even now in our adult experiences, we have so many experiences that send another message. So this is an opportunity for you to reinforce your own self, your, your own value, your, your own worthiness in this world, regardless of what people are telling you. The more you create, the more you recognize that you have the ability to create and go into the world every day and create something of value, the more you counter the messages of the world that tell you you're not worthy, to tell you you're not valuable, to tell you that you're not enough, to tell you that you need to stay in line, play small, stay in the box. Um, you're more willing to accept the consequences when you realize that at the end, there's some, there's you know that you will be the artwork that you'll be proud of. Your life will be the artwork that you'll be proud of. You can turn your life into, you know, the entrepreneurial dream or the business that you want. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be an entrepreneur, but you yourself are are your business. Like Jay Z said, "I'm not a businessman. I'm a business man. You are a business, and so you can." work on yourself and turn yourself into a business and so that you show up authentic in this world and you're proud of who you are and that you are the very artwork that you admire. And in doing so, you turn your focus into your internal world and you continue to grow and develop and turn into the person you want to be and have the life that you want to have and experience the things that you want to experience. So please tell me, how do you feel about being a creator and artist and entrepreneur of your life? Um, did you read this book? What was the overall message that you got out of the book? I, I learned so much. I was so grateful um, that someone recommended me to this book and I learned so much. But overall, what I learned is that um, the more you stay authentic and create, the more you turn yourself into um, something that's anti-fragile. And that's ultimately what we want, that all of our decisions, whether they work for us in the moment or work against the idea that we thought should work out, that we learn something from it and we grow from it. And each experience is adding to us because there's nothing really to lose. So I hope that helps Work Life Warriors. Enjoy your day.